guys, c 2 e Review here with Eloise, with Ash, and we are taste testing the Sophie Spritz range. You're probably wondering where the kids are. Well, these are Italian-inspired cocktails with an Aussie twist. So Sophie Spritz have brought out three different types of them, and we're gonna taste test them all, starting with lemon and elderflower. What are you looking forward to with this, guys, or not looking forward to? Lemon and elderflower, big favourites, not a favourite? Classic combination, but I'm not a big fan of elderflower, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I've just noticed it recently with kombucha, but I've never noticed it uh, elsewhere, but I've seen heaps of people bring lemon and elderflower out. Now it says, serve it with a slice of lemon and a sprig of mint, so we're gonna give that our best and see how we go. Let's go for it. You got some there? Yeah. It's got a big lemony smell. I'm not sure what elderflower is supposed to smell like mm -hmm. because I've never seen what an elderflower is before. There's oh. a little white flower, it's very floral, perfumey. Yeah. That's what Harry and Meghan had in as their wedding cake flavor. Oh, really? Lemon and elderflower. You used it before? Oh, I yeah. Mm. I'm getting um, like a bitter taste of lemon. Um, it is quite bitter. But it has that nice perfume aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It's actually really, really nice. It would be really nice on a hot day. I'm thinking more of a summer drink. Yeah, definitely. It's, I'm getting, I'm getting like a big bitter aftertaste after yeah. it. It's like a like big, florally, florally start. So I did it the other way around. Really? Yeah. It bitterness first, then the floral comes through after. No, I'm finishing. Said everyone's got different tastes. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that. It's more like a. Reminds me of a, like a light champagne with a bit of a lemon, a bit of a flavour yeah, to it as well. And mm. it's, it's not, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Untasty, <laughs> not undelicious. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> so, uh, beautiful for summer. So I'll chuck up some pictures and we'll come back and we'll try another one. some uh, tidying up first. So we tried the lemon and elderflower just before, and that is based on a Hugo Spritz. Now Hugo Spritz first originated in Austria, for those of you who'd like to know about that. Now we are trying the white peach and ginger, which is based on an Italian Bellini. So that says, best served with rosemary and a slice of lime, which we've done. Big peachy smell in there, isn't it? Very, mm. yeah, in is lovely. That's um, really nice. That is, that is summer, isn't yeah. it? That is just summer yeah, in a can. It's punchier than the last one. It is. It's got yeah. a big ginger. I'm oh, sorry, big ginger, big peach hit, which yeah. really yeah. hits it. And the ginger finish, like the ginger just yeah. a little bit after. Yeah, yeah. Just leaves you lingering. Mm -hmm. mm. Really nice. I think everyone might have just seen. We all we all smiled after we finished that. It's very mm. pleasant. It's no yeah. bad aftertaste. It's, Peach, sweet, and then a ginger finish just to warm your insides. It's very nice. Mm. I had some rosemary in my teeth. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind us in the back. No. Um, if all Bellinis taste like this, we'd all be very happy, I reckon. Mm. That's a winner so far. That's Anything good. else with that? Proper no. peach. I like that it tastes like actual peach. Yes, yeah. it's uh, very nice. It does, yeah. Good job with yeah. that. Nice. All right, we'll finish up this and we're going to come back and do our last one. Third time trying the blood orange bitters 
which is based on an Italian spritz, which I'm also told to call them Aperol. If this had Aperol in it, it probably would be called. First thing you notice is the beautiful color it gives up, like a reddish pinkish hue from the blood orange, of course. Let's give it a go. Big orangey smell. Yeah, that really gives that real spritz. Yeah, not quite Aperol, but no, um, yeah, it has that real punchy orange and bitters. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got rosemary. I'd want more bitters, but that's just me. Do you? I want <laughs> less bitters. I'm. I reckon. See, I like the big fruity drinks, so that's why the white peach and ginger is a winner for me. This is like it's a it's a it's a gentle hit of bitters, it's not a big hit of bitters. There's a little bit of orange there. I'd like more orange though, I'd like it more fruitier, my, my taste anyway. But it is very, like when I think of a spritz of the three, that's the flavour definitely that is yeah. ringing all those bells for me. Yeah. Yeah. Which and one? all of them have that little, like they all take me back to Italy um, and, and thinking of what it's like to sit there and drink uh, cocktails in Italy, but that one is, that's probably the most true I think. They're all beautiful drink outside in the in the sun drinks yeah. and we're discussing this over winter so even if you want a little bit of summer in your life you sit outside with the winter sun and you, <clears throat> you will definitely enjoy it which one was your favorite of the three white peach and ginger yeah yeah i probably either the white peach or the blood orange the lemon and elderflower wasn't really hitting it for me mine is white peach and ginger because that had the biggest fruitiest punch for me this is really nice the lemon elderflower is fine like i wouldn't turn it down but I wouldn't go out and grab it before the white peach and ginger either. So yeah. that's all I've got to say Excellent. about that. All right, good job, Sophie. Thanks. You can find that at Dan Murphy's and other good uh, sellers of alcoholic beverages, guys. Cheers.